Good afternoon, everyone, and, and thank you for being with us today. The Lieutenant Governor and I are very proud to be here today with three extremely distinguished and experienced jurists that we are pleased to nominate to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. The Honorable Kimberly, Kimberly Budd, the Honorable Frank Gaziano, and the Honorable David Lowy. Our nominees, Judges Budd, Gaziano, and Lowy, have all demonstrated measured and fair temperament and outstanding legal knowledge and skills throughout their careers. In presiding over the most complicated civil and criminal matters for the Commonwealth citizens in our superior courts, they have demonstrated every day that they are judges of the highest caliber and character. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by offering my heartfelt thanks to the members and chairs of the Supreme Judicial Court Nominating Commission for recommending my name to the governor. And of course, my deepest gratitude goes to Governor Baker for nominating me to serve the public as a member of the Commonwealth's highest court. I'm truly honored and humbled by his and Lieutenant Governor Polito's expression of confidence in me. I look forward to appearing before the governor's council, and I hope that they see fit to confirm my nomination. If confirmed, the people of the Commonwealth can be assured that I shall work very hard to carry out and fulfill my duties and responsibilities as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Judicial Court. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am honored to stand before you as a nominee for the state's highest court. It is truly humbling to be nominated to a court whose mission is to preserve uh, everybody's individual liberties in this state, to promote fairness among our citizens, to make sure that litigants um, have impartial trials, and to uh, accommodate the rule of law. I am grateful as well to share this moment with my family, my wife Mary Ellen, my son Joe, and my daughter Kara, as well as my two colleagues from the Superior Court. I am thankful for the trust that the Governor and Lieutenant Governor have placed in me for this most important position. I also want to extend my gratitude to the Governor's, uh, uh, to the governor's Legal Counsel, Juan Povich, and to Sharon Casey as well, as well the uh, SJC Nominating Committee for putting my name forward to the Governor. I look forward to the, nominate, the confirmation process and look forward to discussing my qualifications with the, go uh, with the Governor's Council. Thank you. Mr. Polito, thank you for the confidence that you have placed in me. The overwhelming feeling I have today is one of appreciation and humility. Thank you to the Supreme Judicial Court Nominating Commission for their probing questions and their commitment to the nomination process. Thank you to Chief Legal Counsel Lon Povich and Deputy Legal Counsel Sharon Casey. They are truly dedicated public servants. And thank you to my mentor, Justice Robert Cordy, from whom I learned what a commitment to excellence means. All four of my grandparents came to this country seeking opportunity and freedom from oppression and prejudice. My father escaped from Eastern Europe in the days before Nazi Germany invaded the Sudetenland. My mother, Barbara, who is here today, and my father, Marvin, made every sacrifice so that my sisters and I received unlimited opportunities and grew up in a home of unconditional love. I am keenly aware of how few people have been provided the opportunities that I have had since birth. Empathy, humility, and reverence for the law will guide me every day if I am confirmed. I want to thank my family. I would not be standing here today without the love and support of my wife, Virginia Buckingham. I've been blessed with two beautiful children, Jack and Marty. I could not be more proud of them. I would like to thank the members of the Governor's Council. I look forward to answering each of their questions as honestly and frankly as possible. I've been before the Council on two prior occasions, and I have deep respect for the role the Council performs as part of our constitutional confirmation process. Should I be confirmed, I will be honored to serve with my fellow nominees, Judges Frank Aziano and Kimberly Budd, and each member of our Supreme Judicial Court. 
I only wish that my father and Governor Paul Salucci were alive to see how fortunate I am to have been nominated to the Supreme Judicial Court. I will always honor their unyielding support, and I can only hope someday to be as kind, wise, and decent a man as each of them. Thank you.